Jimmy Lee, I uh, know that the rest of the family, Lila, Alan, Monica, all join me in this greeting and acceptance of you as a member of our family. Welcome, Eric Quartermain. Yeah. Yeah. I also can't think of a better time to extend an invitation to Jimmy Lee, or uh, should I now say Eric, to come and work for me. Hmm? Stella, more drinks. Drink up, everybody. There's plenty of champagne. Congratulations, Jimmy. Oh, yes, indeed, my Congratulations. Well, quite an announcement. Not much of a surprise, though. Most people already knew who Jimmy Lee was. What I find interesting is the sudden turnaround of Edward. It wasn't so long ago he was offering me money to run the kid out of town. Perhaps he had a change of heart. Edward? Yeah, I see your point. Anyway, I guess it's nothing to do with us. I'm far more interested in that pair of quarter mains over there. Alan and Monica? Alan looks absolutely petrified. I'm sure he thinks I'm going to arrest him at any minute. Uh, are you going to be making your announcement soon? Hopefully. Something tells me it's going to be much more surprising than this one was. A lot more interesting and far more dangerous. For you? And everyone else involved. Now. Please, I'll, I'll do anything. It's too late for that now, Heather. Or should I say, mystery witness? Yes, you do. The night of the murder. I was sure no one saw me. I don't even know who you are. Yes, I think you do. No. I'm Tolliver. Crane Tolliver. And you are Heather Weber. Ah, oh, you should have remained silent, Heather. But you threatened my freedom. And that, I think, will be your last mistake. Oh, please. Please, I'll do anything you want. Too late. You and Susan made the same error. And now your fates are interlocked. Ah! Do any good to run, there's nowhere to go. And it's the same as it was that night, isn't it, Heather? Is this for you, Heather? In the hallway? Behind a door? The closet? No, you'll never get away with this. Oh, you're right, my dear. Not until I've silenced you. You're crazy. Perhaps. <laughs> Same place, the scene of the crime. <laughs> that doesn't bother me. We'll do this just any way you want. Oh, well, it's your cue. Go away! Oh, I could break down the door. Is that what you want, Heather? Please! Heather? Are you hearing me? I'm gonna scream! Go ahead. Nobody's here to hear you. Why? Why are you doing this to me? You've been over that. I've been all through that with you. You've made a terrible mistake going to Scorpio now. You must pay for it. You're making me do this, Heather. It's your fault. It could all have been so painless. What my residence? This is Stella speaking. Hi, Stella. It's Grant. Oh, Dr. Putt, you're missing the most wonderful evening. <laughs> I know. Has Celia arrived yet? Oh, yes, she has. And she's already the most beautiful girl here. Oh, I'm 
so I have to report back. <laughs> is, is she near the phone? Oh, just a minute. No, I don't see her anywhere, but I'll go get her if you'd like. Uh, no, no, that's all right. Don't interrupt her. Just tell her I'm sorry I couldn't be there to meet her, but I should be leaving the hospital right away. No reason I shouldn't be there by 10 unless the storm. Dr. Putnam? Dr. Putnam? Something wrong, Stella? Uh, the, the line went dead. Dr. Putnam? Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine in no time. Nine fifteen sound right to you. I guess. I tell you, I I um I do want to thank Mrs. Quatermain here. Are you all right? I had very good to me last few weeks. I also want to thank Alan and Monica for graciously accepting. I wish you'd tell me what you're up to. Believe me, you don't want to know. So it really is dangerous. Not only accepting me into the fold, but taking me a junior partner in a family firm. As for the name Eric, now I just rather keep the name that I've always been accustomed to, Jimmy Lee Holt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like that. Okay, now, that's about all I got to say, except one thing. Uh, let's get back to what we're really here for, and that's a little bit of drinking, a little bit of fun, and a whole hell of a lot of partying. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good. Hey, where are you going? I thought I'd powder my nose. Looks fine to me. You know, you're running away from me. I'm harmless. You can ask anybody. If you're implying that I'm afraid of you, you're wrong. Really? Why doesn't it seem like it? All right, how should I prove it to you? Why don't you dance with me? Excuse us. Uh, hi. Come on, stand with me. When, now? No, next week. Of course, now. This is too much. Did you see them? Oh. Celia, that half-brother of yours. They're in the den now, dancing. Not only does he have the nerve to start calling himself a junior partner, now he's dancing cheek to cheek with Cousin Herbert's spy. And to think he has the gall to say he won't use the Quartermain name. I don't know how much more of this I can take. There's nothing you can do about it. Well, I know that. There sure is something I'd like to say about it. Don't even think about it. We have enough murders on our hands as it is. <laughs> Heather, I have a story to tell you. It's about this man. At the prime of his life, being thrown into jail for a petty little crime. But you see, the judge was an especially cruel man. He wrapped his gavel and said, 35 years. All I could think about was getting out. You see, I didn't want revenge. I wanted money. That's all I've ever wanted. What's that got to do with me? You were in the way, my dear. That wasn't my fault. They were going to pin the murder on me. Heather. Heather. Please, I don't want to die. Heather. Maybe I won't have to kill you. What are you talking about? I still need a partner. Why don't we talk? Heather, are you listening to me? Heather. Open the door, Heather. Open. Chronometer time. Say, Robert, you're acting as if this evening is going to end in 10 minutes. It might. I'm expecting a rather important call. Sounds like our police commissioner is working tonight. Overtime. 
Ah, uh, boy, overtime. I know that one. You know, there are times when I wish the batteries on my beeper would just die. Why don't you just leave it at home? Uh, well, that would be just slightly unethical, I think. <laughs> How about a dance? Would that be considered unethical? Uh, with the beautiful nurse? No, no, no. Oh, well, in that case, excuse us. Okay, right ahead. We'll watch your face. Thank you. Like I'm not very good. I don't believe you. Really? Don't ask anyone. Hey. Hey, Blackie. Yep. Is it true Robert's a lousy dancer? I don't know. I never danced with him. Uh, Where's Tim at? Uh, Padraig. Why in the car room? She went to the car room ten minutes ago. Then I do know. She's dance with him. Well, try Holly. I mean, she's in the mood, and my Australian crawl might just put her off. <laughs> she likes to dance. <laughs> I would be delighted. <laughs> Don't go. Are you leaving so soon, Robert? Well, no, I actually intended to use your phone, if that's all right. Uh, Edward, I was wondering, could you bring uh, Lila by the house tomorrow? Shall we say, 11? <laughs> Did he want to talk to us about? Excuse me. Tonight. What about me? <laughs> I don't want to talk about that now. I've got to get back. Okay. Damn it. Fine, Sam. Oh, excuse me. It's quite all right. David! Tiffany, well, how are you? Oh, Idea. Why don't we change partners? Oh, smashing well, idea. Oh, I thought so. I just found out something rather interesting. In the buffet line? Lee was there. He just got here. Mm -hmm. Scotty is out on bail. How's that going to affect us? As far as the clinic, I don't know. He can stop us just as easy inside as he can outside. I think he'd have a lot more leverage on the outside myself. Well, there's a possibility. Well, you see, Mark, now it begins. From now on, non-stop clinic talk. What happened? You're right. I am sorry. We will talk about it no, later. No, no, no. No, no, please. You two go right ahead. In fact, Mark was just going to ask me to dance. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Would you? Thank you. I'd really love to. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Has, uh, anybody seen Holly? Uh, yes. Wasn't she dancing with Blackie? Not anymore. Well, why don't you try the dining room, or maybe she went upstairs? Well, thank you. I will. Uh, Commissioner, moment of your time, please. I'm in a sort of a hurry. Well, Scotty's out on bail, and I thought you'd like to know. The judge, well, he had a different point of view. Right at this moment, Lee, your son is about the last thing on my mind. Excuse me. I wonder what is on the commissioner's mind. And as long as Scotty's out on bail, I really don't care. So tell me, has the big moment arrived? I don't know what you mean. The announcement. Really? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, it's the only reason why Ian and I came, Commissioner, to hear you announce the mystery witness. That is why you're here, isn't it? the idea of a partnership, Heather. Only a little too late, wouldn't you agree? Suppose I, I told Scorpio it, it was a mistake that I never saw you there. Oh, I'm honored that you do that for me. But it doesn't change things. The fact remains that you were the only person who saw me murder Susan. I eliminate you, I eliminate the problem. Well, maybe, maybe they didn't believe me. I mean, you have a good alibi, don't you? Well, one I worked very hard to set up. 
And what good is it going to do to kill me? You're only going to direct more suspicion towards yourself. Oh, I suppose you could look at it that way. That's true. <laughs> but I have to protect my alibi. That good, huh? Very good. It's very good indeed. I'm even rather proud of it. It's good enough to kill for? Oh, yes. You see, an alibi like that just doesn't come along every day. I had to set up each detail meticulously, starting with Susan. I always knew I couldn't trust her. At least I had to, though, until I got the money. Then I could dispose... No, or rather, dissolve... You mean you could our kill her? Ah, yes, that was a business transaction. Now, you understand that, don't you? But before I could go through with it, I needed an alibi. Someone who looked like me and who could be mistaken for me. Fall guy. <laughs> Precisely. And, and that wasn't an easy task, as I soon found out. I covered every bar on the waterfront until I found the right man. <laughs> an old drunk, chumming for drinks in a bucket of blood. I got to know him. That was an easy task. All you had to do was keep his belly full of liquor. <laughs> we met several times at various bars. And finally, on the night in question, I was waiting for his nightly arrival. <laughs> and it didn't work out as I had planned. He arrived late and already drunk. Hey, turn around, man. I said, stay out of here. Come on. One little drink ain't gonna hurt nobody. No way. I said, stay out of here, and I mean it. Okay. No. I'm going. I'm going. Hey. Oh. I better get back to my room. Hey, can you, can you give me a bottle and a bag? Uh, oh, hey. So you followed him? Well, I had to. I couldn't go through with it without him. Oh, little did I know they would turn out better this way. Would you like a drink? Yeah. yeah. Hey, aren't you cold? How would you like to have a nice warm coat, huh? Yeah. Yeah, here. That's, hey, that, we got to get that off. Of That's terrible. Here, let me have that. Yeah, let me take that. That's right. And you take this, huh? There you go. It's cold out. No, not that way. Here, there you go. Uh, how about another, how about another drink, huh? Huh? Yeah. Now we'll just get you all warmed up. Put your arm in there. Come on, that's a boy. Come on. Yeah, I'll hold and You just put that on like that. And can you get into it? There you go. How about another drink, huh? Uh, yeah. Now, oh, great. Why don't we just go over here and sit down? And you can just have another drink. Just get, just sit down and lean up against that. Hey, there you go. How about another drink, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, how about a, how about another one? There you go. Yeah, a boy. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, why don't you hold? Um, so. spent the night of the murder in jail. But he's a witness, too. And what if the police find him? <laughs> My dear, they did. He was dead on arrival. Ruby. Oh, excuse oh. me. I haven't seen your husband around. Oh, he's here somewhere. Would you like me to tell him you're looking for him? No, no, no. I was just wondering. I was hoping he was having a good time. Well, I'm sure you'll see him before the night is out. He did say he had some kind of an announcement to make before the festivities are over. Oh, really? <laughs> he didn't by any chance say what that announcement was going to be, did he? No, no, he didn't say it, but I think it has something to do with the murder. Is he? Well, excuse me? Of course. Where are you going? 
doing? I just want some room. Why? Right, what's, what's wrong? I have just had a talk with Mrs. Scorpio. She has informed me that her husband is going to make an announcement tonight. It's all right. We knew that was going to happen. We'll face it together. That's all. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're not going to drag me into this. What do you mean, drag you into it? You're already in it. I have been cleared, remember? Wow. You're the one who has something to worry about. Oh, thank you, darling, for your care. I don't need a reminder. I would just like him to get it over with. Alan! I just wanted to tell you what a wonderful party this oh, is. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> really? Well, and I missed you at the shower, uh, but I trust you both will be at the wedding? Of course we will. We would miss it for the world. Thank From you. From both of us, just want to say how happy we are for the two of you. Thank you. Well, late arrivals. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Duty calls. Okay. Stella, would you please? Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, Dr. Putnam, I was worried about you. Oh, the traffic's a mess. Oh, Some phone lines down by the bridge. They've got to close down in one lane. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm glad. Hey, um, hi, your, uh, your fiancé is here. As a matter of fact, she's in the next room. Yes. Yeah, let her see me like this. I'm going to run upstairs, take a shower, and change. Uh, well, uh, do you want me to tell her uh, you're here? Uh, no, please. Let me surprise her. Fine. I'm glad it was him. What, you were expecting the cops in the paddy wagon? Or worse, Doc. Fine. Save me, Holly. What's wrong? Every time I turn around, that Jimmy Lee is there. What do you want me to do? Just protect me from boredom until Grant gets here. Well, I don't know how effective I'm going to be. You're about to find out. How come every time I turn around, you disappear? Maybe you should take it as a hint. Come on, I'm just trying to be friendly. After all, we are relatives. Listen, Jimmy, I know this is a big night for you, but uh, maybe you shouldn't spend it all with one person. No, now that you mention it, that's exactly how I want to spend it. Why don't we let these two be alone, Mrs. Scorpio? I've always wanted to dance with a cop's wife anyway. I thought it would be very nice, but I, I, I don't think uh, I've never danced with an English lady before either. You do any different over there? Uh, well, can I uh, get you something to drink? No. How about something to eat? No, thank you. How about a kiss? How about a slap in the face? What is that? I mean, we are cousins. <laughs> That makes a difference? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, haven't you ever heard of kissing cousins? I would rather keep it slapping cousins, if you don't mind. How did you do it? What? Kill her? I thought you saw me. Well, I, I did, from the hall closet. I, I mean, the details. Uh, what happened before you got here? Why? Just curious. It actually matters to you? Well, in, in a way, yes. I, you see, Susan was my cousin. I, I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I didn't. That's why I, I never mentioned to anyone that I saw you here. You see, I hated Susan. I wanted her dead as much as you did. I think you deserve a medal for what you did. Then why did you tell them that you saw me? Because I, I, I got scared. I, I was beginning to look like their only suspect. So you panicked? Yeah. I figured you were out of town. Or out of the country, for all I knew. I would never have told them if I knew you were here. Well, you should have come to me right in the beginning. But how could I? I couldn't find you. I didn't know who you were. I, I didn't even know what the two of you were working on. We were blackmailing the quarter mains. For money, I presume. <laughs> well, two million dollars. Only I found out that Susan didn't care about the money. In fact, she wasn't even going to ask for it. Instead, she was going to give the story to a reporter. So you had to kill it before mm. she talked. But first, I had to set up an alibi. Like the, the drunk you yes. told me about that. Once I knew that he was arrested, I came here. It was around 9 o'clock. I, I snuck in the back door. <laughs> Susan and her husband were fighting. Not an uncommon event in that household. Well, her aunt got upset and left. And then Susan and Scotty made up. Scott, I suppose you deserve another chance. I'll call Carlson at the bank in the morning, and I'll tell him to forget the whole thing. Susan. But in exchange, you have to do one thing for me. I want you to sleep at the office tonight. I've got some business to take care of later, and I don't want you here. Does this have anything to do with the quarter man? Don't push your luck, Scott. 
You're off the hook. Now get out of here before I change my mind. Well, how do I know that you're not going to change your mind? All right, I will write myself a note so I don't forget. Call bank regarding Scotty's forgery. Satisfied? Susan, thank you. Don't mention it ever again. After he left, Susan seemed very happy. She was even humming a little song to herself. And then she went upstairs. I realized it was going to be easy, very easy. So you followed her upstairs? Yes. And she started to draw a bath? A bath, yes. She was standing right there where you are, putting pins in her hair. She was looking at the papers, smiling to herself, and then she turned and saw me. No! No! She felt very little pain. She died almost instantly. I took the papers, and then I went down the hall, down the stairs, and out the door. And unfortunately for you, my dear, you saw me. General Hospital will continue in a moment.